Hi everybody. So I've got sitting here, I uh, got another one of those cases of uh, Iconic Masters, because I guess I want to damage myself again and pull more channels. Uh, I'm not going to open these all at one time like I did last time, so <clears throat> I'm going to go with the right. Let's, let's pop open the right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. come on, there we go. Follow the line. Act like you've been there. Okay. Now. Okay, that was uh, less than entertaining. All right. Knocking the camera all over the place. That was fun. Not really. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll continue the right. Keep going on the right. Come on. Get out of the box, thank you very much. Okay. All right, that was an ordeal. Okay, let's uh... Come on, come on camera. There you go. There you go. No, 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 come on. Sorry everybody, I just totally knocked everything. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Iconic Masters. So, Rudy did a video where he's talking about Iconic Masters and the EVs have gone up on these. In which then, at first, there was a, a bit of a worry that these were going to disappear. And they didn't. They didn't disappear. I think because people remembered that it's Ultimate Ma remembered that it's Iconic Masters. So. That's right in my wheelhouse. Let's get a cracker. So there's going to be a bunch of commons, a bunch of commons, then you're going to get to the uncommons. There's a lot of great uncommons in this set. Not of those though. And then we start with a glimpse, the unthinkable, which is a solid rare. Put that over there. Okay. You know what? You can go a little closer. There we go. Okay. And then foil common. So a lot of nice hits in this set. But there are a fair number of bulk rares. Okay, Star Compass, really good common. Okay. You know, I'm not going to worry about the commons right now. I'm going to skip those. Okay, and <laughs> Simic Sky Swaller. Uh, you know what? I do not at all like my lighting that I've got going on here. Hey, Foil Sanguine Bond. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Okay, put you up in the good pile. You know, nah. Kind of forgot how I wanted to separate these. I'm sorry, everybody. Figure that out quickly. So the other three boxes, you know, they'll just they're just gonna go up on the shelf for a while. I'm not gonna crack them all at one time. I'm not gonna do another case overview of this set. Been there, done that. If you want to watch me have great boxes and terrible boxes, you can go back, please, and watch those videos. I know one is particularly fun. Hey, our first mythic. Good old Jin. Awesome. Awesome. Good first hit. Okay, and Recto Strike. So I'm still kind of playing with some new lighting setups here. So I hope this is okay. I know my camera, unfortunately, just got put on an angle and I can't seem to fix it right now. So I'm going to have to worry about that later. All right, Tavern Swindler, Thoughtseize, very nice, very, very nice, see? Now, <laughs> four people are like, I should buy these. You you can, can get absolutely destroyed on this set. You, you can get demolished, so keep that in mind when you're going to buy a box of this, that you can have a box that can go completely sideways, as I have in the past. Okay, and Fire Main Angel, because you get too many cards like that. Now, I haven't said that. I loved this card during the original wrap block. I loved it. Okay. But powers creep, and certain cards can stick with it if they have a neat ability, and certain cards, well, they just become redundant and 
Still playable, but nobody cares. Not going to push any decks. I am not loving my lighting here. Maybe it's just me. Fog bank. Hey, mind crank, finally. Okay. And the Demir Aqueduct. Blood gas, cool. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and a foil evolving wilds. I should send that to Joey Moss. Okay. <clears throat> Get flying through them commons. Ain't got no time for the commons. Chronicler of Heroes. Okay. And Chainbreaker Devils. Boo. Hey, Foil Lightning Helix. Cool. Not like a money hit, but I love it. Okay. All right. Last pack of the first side. So it's the right side, I think. I assume I kind of put them down in order, but I may not have. So, to start... So we got a, got ourselves three solid rares and a strong mythic. So that's a good start. And Magus of the Moon. Obviously, the price on this came down dramatically with the reprint of Time Spiral Remaster, or with Time Spiral Remaster. Not the reprint of that, but you know what I'm trying to say. So that card became a little less lusted after. I'm going to move things around here a little bit. Which makes sense. He flooded the market with a strong card that wasn't overplayed. Not like Thought Seizes, where you can probably print those in every set and they'll stay 10 bucks a card. Like Clockwork. What the heck happened to this pack? Gee. Oh, that's... Did I do that? Okay, at least it was just that top common. Be careful when you're opening packs, folks. This is sometimes why I try to be a delicate flower. Cool again, Monument, Doom Blade, and Trepanation Blade, and Graving Carnes. Okay. The original Filter Land. That does remind me that this set had the Future Sight Land Block, which was one of the worst land cycles ever printed. Yeah, I know people are going to get mad at me. Grover the Burn Willows was great. Yes, yes, at one time, you are correct. It was. Scourge of the Velkus. Overgrown Battlement. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, let's keep going. You should have at least three Mythics per box. On average, you can sometimes get that special fourth one. Star Compass again. Mind Stone. Okay. Zora's Charm. Skywise Teachings. Enlarge. And Urabrask the Hidden. So the Red Praetor. All right. All right. Not terrible, but put that right over there. Okay. Furnace Vault Foil. And of course, it's got the two big rares Aether Vial. Ariok Champion. You generally get one or the other in a box. So we'll see which one we're going to get here. Okay. Indulgent Torment. Heroes Bane. Malfigor. Thanks. Great. And Reef Soul Foil. Dear Malfigor, nobody wants you. Go home. That's mean. I'm sorry. I'm being mean to that card. Hey, second mind crank. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Blade winged risen and serum powder. Boo. Doomkeeper foil. All right. Well, this this middle row here isn't doing particularly hot. Okay. Orzhov Land, Forge Tender, Thron Dynamo, and Savage Born Hydra. Yeah. Hey, Foil Fireball. Kind of cool. 
Okay. Yeah, this middle row is definitely not hitting it. Come on, you can do better. You can do better. I believe in you. I just skipped 15 cards ahead. Okay. Sanguine Bond. Burroughs Garrison. And Knight of Souls Betrayal. Okay. All right, last pack of the middle row. Ooh, okay. Come on. Come on. Bail out the middle row. You can do this. Hoarding Dragon. Swords. Electrolyze. And Day of the Dragons. Okay. So middle row wanted to... Oh. 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 I was just about to speak too soon. Foil Flusterstorm. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Last row, everybody. Hey, good old Measures Bobble. Fantastic. Lydia Mirror, Sultai Flair, and Lord of the Pit. Okay, I've commented enough on Lord of the Pit's reprint. I mean, it is iconic. We, we can give it that. If you played Magic in the mid-90s, Lord of the Pit was iconic. <clears throat> Even if it was never particularly good. Everybody wanted it. Nobody played with it. Swords. Demir. Oh, so that's my third mythic in this box. I mean, okay. You buy a case, you're you're bound to get one. Yeah, that's disappointing. Okay, and the bell off. At this point, because well, if you watched my case opening videos, I had one box that had literally the three worst mythics to pull in the entire set, all in one box. It was really hilarious. I mean, in a makes you incredibly angry, even though you understand that things like that happen kind of thing. Is there an angel? Abyssal? Persecutor? Draconic Roar. Okay. So I guess at least the Djinn, and even Urbrask isn't terrible, so... Okay. But we got to get some of those bigger rare hits at this point, because we are... Kind of getting close to the end of the box, and I would say we're not doing particularly great here. So we kind of fizzled out after a decent start. Genesis Hydra. Okay. Four packs left, everybody. Four packs left. It's make or break time. At this point... Dragon Tempest, Mahamati, and LS Norn. Hey, four. Okay, is that three Praetors in this box? Huh. All right, so we got four Mythics. Okay, we still got to get one of the big rares, though. I mean, I'm not going to get too excited yet, because we got to get one of the big rare hits. We have not gotten one of those. And Austere Command, which has been recently... Hey, Foil Windfall. Okay, we're doing well in the Foil and Commons in this one. All right, two packs left, people. And I have not gotten an Oriok Champion or an Aether Vial. So, in my experience, you get one or the other in every box. And right now, we are, uh, we're heading to a, a zero box, which is a bit rare. It's a bit on the rare side. Not impossible, but definitely rare. Noxus Dragon, Corsa uh, Predation, Foil Mindstone. Okay. Okay, last pack. We're gonna need some last pack magic here. This uh, this pile here of bulk rares is a bit too uh, a bit too big out of a twenty four pack box. Distortion Strike. 
Blizzard Spectre. Rune Scar Demon. Well, folks, that is a whole box of this without either a Aether Vial or an Ariac Champion. Well, thanks for watching. Um, realistically, one of those two would have put this box right at about average. Fortunately, not hitting either of those. Um, kind of put this box a fair amount below average, even with four Mythics. So... Fortunately, this one didn't quite go great today, but appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Look forward to the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.